King of the Couch will not be seen tonight, so we may bring you the following episode live with Tracy Conway, Bob Nelson, Bill Nye, Bill Stanton, Steve Wilson, and Ed Wyatt, and starring John Keister. And I'm your announcer, and this viewer's warning. During tonight's program, a slang word should keep them away so they don't hear the word meaning hot dog or frankfurter. Thank you. And now, here he is. Wiener, 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 wiener. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I've got to say, what, what a week. I mean, you know, we're so overburdened here in Seattle with things that we're supposed to save, the Spotted Owl, the Mariners, the, the Music Hall. Too late for that one, yeah, I guess. And this week, a new one on the list, Frederick and Nelson. You see this? Frederick and Nelson. The, you know, and I, I got to say that Frederick's is a tough one because as everyone who grew up here knows, that's where the real Santa Claus lives, right? Am I right? Right? The ones, uh, the ones at Sears and all over the malls, they're, they're just his helpers. At least that's what my mom always said. I, I believe that's right. And you realize that if Fredericks goes, Santa will probably have to move across the street to Nordstrom's? I mean, do we want to see that? I don't know. Although, although, it means that if you don't really like what he brings you for Christmas, you can take it back pretty easily. <laughs> And I'm guessing it'll probably be a more stylish Santa next season, you know, we could, the colors will probably be a lot hipper, maybe we have Rudolph the Teal Nose Reindeer, which could be, you know, could be good. And I'm guessing that all of Santa's helpers will be really anorexic and bitchy. It's just, 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 a, just a guess, just a guess. So I'd say we better start eating frangos, more frangos, uh, we gotta save Fredericks. And, you realize there's a guy in Alaska, I read this uh, this week, that wants to save the Mariners. He wants to use some of Alaska's oil money and buy the team, keep it in Seattle, and then call them the North Pacific Mariners, which, you know, I think it's nice. And I guess the guy came down from Alaska and was very impressed. He liked the team, and he'd never seen beer and hot dogs so cheap, which is good, you know. <laughs> Uh, the other big athletic news this week, they've decided to hold the annual Washington State Summer Games over on the east side this year. Uh, they're going to tailor the athletic events to suit the Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond environment. And I, I'm telling you, you might want to get your tickets now because these events look really exciting. Because we got an advanced program of what you're going to see this summer. For example, the 110 meter high hurdles over the less fortunate are going to be there, which is good. <laughs> a nice event. They're going to have synchronized plastic surgery, which is very exciting. They're going to have the African American Hassle-a-thon, which is always popular over there. The Jello shot put, which is uh, good. The El Torito's breaststroke at closing time, which, yeah. Also the, yes, a very, get your tickets now. Get your tickets now, folks. The 10K race out of the Seattle School District, which is very, very popular these days. The messed up teens in rehab relay. And finally, blonde divorcees with way too much jewelry platform diving all on these. I think the East Side community. I, I think that the East Side community is going to be very well served by those games. And it, you know, at Almost Live, we want to serve all special interest groups in our community. And you know, it came to our attention that there were some young people not being served at the present time, and we felt a new television show was in order, and we got one together right away. Take a look. It's time for Faces, Places, and Beer! If you're into metal, turn it up! Faces, Places, and Beer is brought to you by Fresh Start Recovery Centers, Eastside Recovery Hospital, Everybody else who isn't just totally baked, totally limp. If you're limp, this is not your show. It's ours. I'm Ingve. This is Bob. And up first, tonight's Metallica concert. We got a live cut in from back. They're stoked, huh? They're stoked. What are you listening to? Oh, yeah, they kick, they kick, that's good. Anyway, to get ready for the concert, we've got a stage diving clinic for you. Pay attention to Dive and Dave. 
And now it's time for Into the Pit with Diamond Dave. What's the matter with you guys? I saw you last night. You call yourself metalheads. You're not metalheads. You don't know how to stage dive out there going Ew, like pussyfoot around. That isn't f***ing stage diving. If you're going to stage dive, you got to do it right. If you're going to be metalheads, you got to be a real metalhead. You got to jump. You got to jump like this. Metal food! Headbangers lunch! Okay, I'll... Okay, on Metal Manners this week, we've got some heavy metal do's and don'ts. Do get a day job. You can work in strip clubs as a DJ. Or you can be the bouncer. Or this week's top job, telephone solicitor. So, are, are you currently subscribing to the Seattle Times? Would you like to subscribe to this shit? Hello. Don't go to your girlfriend's job. Hi. Metal grooming! Don't let your hair get screwed up in your leather. Your hair can get caught on the studs of your jacket. It's a hassle and it can be dangerous. Watch out! All right. Okay, on our heavy metal homemaker segment, Bob here is going to show us how to make patio furniture out of old beer cans. Bob? What? The patio furniture out of the beer cans. You know, the can stuff. I, I spaced that, man. Okay, well, I guess that's all we have. Uh, see you next week on Faces, Places, and Beer. Almost Live recommends the following TV shows for tonight's viewing. At 12.30 on King, it's My 15 Dads. At 1 o'clock on ESPN, it's some guys playing three-on-three -three basketball in a driveway. And at 2 o'clock, watch USA's Night Flight Theater presentation, Horny Teens in the Woods Getting Slashed by a Maniac, Part 7. Stay up late and watch more television. You want to trust her, but you've been burned before. You want to trust him, but he's kind of a weasel. You need Lover's Lil Lie Detector, the convenient little polygraph that's so easy to use you'll almost forget you have it on. Do you think she's pretty? So what makes you think you can do this job? Well, I'll come in every day and I'll work real hard. Uh, I'll come in every day. I'll show up when I can. Remember, a little lie detector saves a lot of BS. Good evening and welcome to Up With TV. I'm Stan Gilbert. And I'm Hannah Blair Davidson. Stan and I teach the therapeutic value of television at Shoreline Community College. You know, it's fashionable to refer to TV as a vast wasteland when actually it can be a rich source of great healing. Oh, that's right, and that's what we do on this show. We help people through television. So let's get started with a look at today's mail. Hannah? Thanks, Stan. Our first letter today begins, Dear Up With TV. I don't know quite how to say this. I'm a healthy, normal American male but lately, I've been having these incredible urges to wear dresses and high heels. Mm. Is there something wrong with me? Mm. Signed, Jack. No, there's nothing wrong with you, Jack. In all probability, Gilligan overhears him, and suddenly he has this urge to take bubble baths, wear gingham right. pinafores, and put his hair in pigtails. Jack, you'll snap out of it in time. Just find an older man with a beer gut to shake you and call you little buddy. That's right. Right you are, Hannah. Right you are. Okay, letter number two says, I don't know what to do. My boyfriend's been cheating on me. I'm sure of it. 
he and my best friend are having an affair. How can television solve my problem? Well, you know, there are several shows that will give you some good advice. You could try, you know, watching Oprah, Sally, maybe even that new, you know, the Jenny Jones show, perhaps? Actually, Stan, I think that in the... You must kill! You must destroy! <laughs> Kirkup. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that's the way to deal with that problem. I think so. Now, Channel 9 pledge break. And finally, <laughs> if you're one of those people who thinks your life just couldn't be more pathetic, just watch five minutes of America's Funniest People. You know, depression is really common among teenagers this mm -hmm. time of year. Holidays are oh, over, yeah, you're back in school, right. everybody hates you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right, when Hannah and I were your age, there wasn't much we could do about it, right, Hannah? Oh, right, Ooh. Stan. Mm -hmm. But today's teenagers have an answer. That's right, Beverly, Beverly Hills 90210. 90210. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. The answer's simple, women, go buy yourselves a new wardrobe of outrageously expensive designer clothes Guys, wear tight jeans that really show off your butt. And grow your sideburns long. Then everybody just be really good friends and hug each other. All. Smile. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
A fireworks celebration is scheduled for later this month. Good job, report. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Almost Live recommends the following TV shows for tonight's viewing. At 12.30 on MTV, it's the Club MTV Low Camera Angle Special. And this brings back memories. <laughs> oh, these are great. What does this remind you of? Mmm, tastes like vanilla. Uh-huh. Senior trip? Paris. That cafe! Yes! <laughs> Old friends and old times are special. Let Global Java take you back again. Mm, I love this coffee. I loved that waiter. Jean-Luc! Oh! Talk about great French kissing. Ooh la la. You kissed him? But you knew I was dating him. We never went out. We just had sex. Share a cup of global java. You slut! He was my boyfriend. Look, you cow. He made his choice. Slice. Pizzeria Pagliacci. Rated Seattle's best pizza.